Hi everyone, um, this is just a little behind the scenes of one of the scenes from my latest animation. And here we're gonna see a little bit of the background of how this scene was set up and also what materials were used and so on. So, um, just a little bit of background. So we just recently created this animation um, for our science paper and um, here we present cryo-m structures and in this video we're gonna see a model and a map that was based on a cryo-m map that I loaded into Chimera X and then exported as .gob files and then loaded into Blender. First of all, I just wanted to show you a little bit um, about the a surface that we used. So um, this is actually a wireframe modifier that I used here. If we turn this off briefly, uh, you will see that this is actually a map that's a solid map. And um, this is because if you export this, even if you export it as a mesh, it will appear solid as a solid map in Blender. So I used this wireframe modifier that you can find under the modifier tab. And you have to um, play a little bit with these functions to actually get what you want to get from it. So um, basically that's about it for the surface. As a material for the surface, um, I wanted it to give a little bit of a glassy transparent look as well, um, even for the mesh. So um, I used some mixing shaders to mix glass and transparent um, materials. And this is how um, you see like this cool glassy effect in the final render. The map is, uh, sorry, the model is just um, a, a normal imported stick model imported from Blender and colored by vertex color. So we can see the different coloring of the elements. And another cool thing about this animation was the setup for the, um, the zooming in. Um, camera movement. So basically, uh, if we go to the animations timeline, we can see it zooming into the scene, which is actually if we select the camera, which is actually both an animation of the camera camera location that you can see up here, which is basically uh, just moving the X and uh, Z coordinates as well as the focal length. So we zoom in using the focal length as well. And uh, another cool element that I wanted to share is the depth of field. So obviously we want to have a bit of depth of field. So the elements in the foreground are actually a bit blurry. Whereas when we zoom in into the scene, uh, it looks quite crisp and the elements in the background are a bit more blurry. So I use a cube to basically tell it where to focus on. Um, and then the other thing is the clipping. So if we don't have any clipping and want to zoom into a scene, uh, we won't see much. So it will be quite busy in, in the scene. So we can, um, in the again, in the camera tab, we can adjust the clip start and clip end to basically um, highlight which, which part of the scene we want to focus on. So basically we can um, adjust this to our liking, to what we should focus on in the scene. Um, and then this is just animated with a bit of movement rotation of the model and then just finalized and um, looped in Adobe Premiere. So thank you so much for listening and see you guys soon.